Hopefully you guys didn't hear that defeat there, but it was it was really bad. <laughs> and I want to talk to you about game capture. I'm doing this pseudo stream here and I needed to get my video game, whether it's on my phone or on my Xbox console into the computer so that I can show it off. I'm using a Lenovo laptop as my streaming station here and the inputs going into it. So let me show you how that looks. So I'm using OBS here and my Xbox went to sleep here, but <laughs> I'll wake it up again. So this is actually being captured by the XR1 Lite. And the beauty of this one is it's a pass through capture card. Let me show you a trick here. I'm going to turn this around and you can see what I can see over here. My game is playing on that big 4K monitor there. So you're getting zero latency when you're playing that game through the capture card. So it's got 4K 60 pass through and then it's got 1080 60 capturing capability. So it's actually been sitting here on the desk the whole time. This is the actual unit that we're using to capture the game. You can see the big XR1 there. I've got two HDMI's coming into it. So that red one is going over to my monitor. And then this one is the input and that's going up to my Xbox console that's sitting back in the corner. And then this is my USB. Now it's going directly <laughs> into a physical USB port that's the one right there if you're ever having capture or streaming difficulties always make sure you've got a high-speed USB port a high power USB port and you're going directly into it as much as possible whenever possible this is standard OBS but I do some some cool stuff in here if I go into this view here you can see I've got my XR1 I can configure the video if there's any settings here I can do a crossbar if I want <laughs> but there's the settings for resolution max is 1080 and max output is going to be 60 now in my case I'm only only doing 30 out now I can then take that scene what has my Xbox my XR1 in it and I can go into the webcam here I can put it in the Xbox view or I can do it in the picture in a picture view and so I can just nest that scene wherever I need that capture device so the XR1 does capture in-game audio uh oh where do you go oh my gosh see I'm gonna totally get wasted here on this I didn't say I was good at gaming especially when I'm trying to multitask here Oh no. Oh no. Shields are down. <laughs> this, is, this is so bad. Okay. Hopefully you guys didn't hear that that uh, defeat there, but it was it was really bad. So that is the XR1 Lite capture card. Let me show you a little bit about it when we go to Amazon's page for it. Again, the way you find that is if you go to my Amazon shop and you take a look at this number 14 Tech on Tuesday link, it's going to have all the products here. And what we were just looking at is the XR1 Lite. And again, super, super easy to use. Now, it's not just limited, I'll tell you, to capturing Xboxes. You can capture computer displays. We use this a lot. I sent one of these over to Pinky Tech because he was doing benchmarks, and I wanted him to be able to do the benchmarks and capture directly off the HDMI and not uh, slow down the machine by recording to itself because on these budget machines, they just they choke when they try to do that. I'm using the XR1 right now to capture from my phone through an HDMI output cable. Uh, so this is one of our products coming up here. Got our coffee maker there. Uh, there's another product. Um, I can also go and do a screencast to a Apple TV and capture the Apple TV with the XR1. So a lot of the streams that you guys have been watching me do over the last year, and if I pull up my phone, it's going through the XR1 and it's bypassing my ATEM, which only has four inputs. I did have one issue with this, which I will tell you guys all about. It did not like capturing my MacBook. It went into HDCP mode. So if you're ever using one of the XR1 lights and it gets into this weird HDCP circle lockout, what you end up needing to do is download a firmware from their website that allows you to turn that HDCP default off and then it'll work. But I was having all sorts of trouble with it and now it's one of my favorites. So you could stream a game right from your phone. It doesn't require any sort of Wi-Fi or anything. You don't have any slowness or delay. It's right out of the HDMI. Obviously make sure your game allows that. You don't have any copyrighted audio, things like that, which are just a big mess. So this is is the, the tiny box that it comes in. It comes with a USB cable and nothing else. So you're going to have to supply your own HDMI cables in and out, but superb product there.